In any case, <clears throat> go to something that I think is very telling in JFK's autopsy report, which you can read right here. In the report, it says three shots were heard <clears throat> and the president fell forward bleeding from the head. According to newspaper reports, Washington Post, and it lists it, this is right from the autopsy report, that, which you can find in the Warren report online. Bob Jackson, a Dallas Times Herald photographer, uh, said he looked around as he heard the shots and saw a rifle barrel disappearing into a window in an upper floor of a, the nearby Texas School Depository building. Next, it, it, further, it says shots resounded in rapid succession. The president's hands moved to his neck. He appeared to stiffen momentarily and lurched slightly forward in his seat. A bullet had entered the back of his neck. Another bullet then struck President Kennedy in the rear portion of his head, causing a massive and fatal wound. The president fell to the left into Mrs. Kennedy's lap. That's what the autopsy pathologist heard. That's what was published in the press, that he was hit in the head, he fell forward, and then off to the left, and they put that into the autopsy report. So it's interesting that Kennedy's uh, uh, that w that uh, journalist reports uh, became part of the evidence of Kennedy's uh, assassination, just witness reports. Now, it's using credible background information from the scene of a murder uh, is neither improper or unusual in autopsy, in autopsy examinations. But in JFK's case, the, JF the, the information turned out to be as inaccurate as it was likely influential in their conclusions. Now, we don't think he didn't fall to the left. And if you read the original handwritten autopsy report before they edit it slightly, it says three shots were heard and the president fell forward. Well, here's what you actually see in this Bruder film. Uh, at the bottom left is, is a Bruder frame 312, uh, literally one eighteenth of a second before he's struck in the head. Then at 313, he's struck in the head and you see his head explode. And and in eight frames later, you can see that Kennedy lur has lurched backward. In less than half of a second, he is driven back and to his left. Well, that jolt back into his left is not only not mentioned in the autopsy report because they didn't hear about it, but in the Warren Commission's volumes, and of course the Warren Commission had a superior film, in, in either the Warren report or the Warren Commission volumes, there is no mention of the most dramatic motion in the Zabruder film, and that's Ken Kennedy being driven back to his left. Now, people looking at a film like that might say, hey, you know, it looks like he might have been driven back to his left because he was hit from the right front and not from behind. It's nowhere mentioned in, in any of the Warren Commission's volumes, uh, a remarkable uh, omission. <clears throat>